time has changed this country. Do you remember when it wasn't always this hectic, this divisive, this insane? A time when tragedy brought us together. It didn't rip us apart. A time when Americans stood for something, that shining city on the hill. It, it represented more than just hard work and opportunity and absolute freedom. It also represented a group of citizens who proudly defended those principles. Man, time has changed this country. If I were the devil, I would encourage schools to refine young intellects, but neglect to discipline emotions, just let those run wild. But it's not too late. As long as we stop erasing our history and start learning from it, because what's happening to our country today is far more than riots and looting and violence in the streets. With a media that supports it and politicians too fearful to call it out. Calling the police may mean more harm is done. What's happening is a new cultural revolution. A religious, godlike devotion to everything but God. It's happened before. In a very short period of time, Mao Zedong destroyed China, effectively changing the way people lived, worked, and thought. Young activists were the first in the streets, forcing others to bow down to the new dominating ideology. Signs were torn down, statues destroyed, buildings defaced with propaganda. The non-supporters ridiculed, humiliated, even imprisoned. But then suddenly, simply erasing the old world w wasn't enough. Killing all of those who refused to bow down was. We're in the early stages of a total revolution, America. The similarities are too striking to ignore. So what's next for all of us who refuse to bow? We'll show you. Tonight, the most dangerous cult in America. Two weeks ago, Washington...